It is as if it belongs to another planet. A banana left outside can turn into a hammer in minutes. Bro, relax, fam. Give me all your money. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. Put the I got a banana down. and I will use it. Give me all your money. Don't do it. What's going on, Clutch Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey! Back to ladies and gentlemen of the video today, you feel me? All right, we got an interesting one. Visiting the coldest city in the world. Negative 71 degrees Celsius, <laughs> which converts to negative 96 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm not even going, I'm not going to do it. I'm not the, the name of the city. I'm not going to do it. Yakutsk. <laughs> That's what it is. Yakutia. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, there, there you go. go. You just got to say it fast. I think they be saying words wrong. They just say it fast so it make it sound like you're doing something. So just say it fast and it's going to make it sound like you're doing something. Ah, oh, man. So this should be a, a very interesting one. I'm, I'm all down for a little bit of the cold, but not this fucking cold. This yeah, is just ridiculous. That's out of line, no. bro. Anything with a negative on it, I'm good. Anything under <laughs> like 30 degrees, 30, 30, 35 degrees, I'm straight. Yeah, yeah, nah, I'm good on that, man. So we're going to check this out. Should be an interesting one. Let's get right into this one, man. Siri, what God is the damn. temperature? It's minus 47 degrees outside. Ooh. Air temperature in Antarctica is negative 14.8 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 degrees Celsius. Ooh. Here it is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 47 Hell degrees no. Celsius. Our lungs are not used it, that's why we're coughing. The weather here is very cold and dry. There is a large population here, approximately 300,000 inhabitants. Rio oh. is the capital of Sahar Republic, an autonomous region that is allied with Russia, 280 miles away mm. from the North Pole. Makes sense. Since this place is the most northeastern point of Siberia, it is very much isolated from the rest of the world. Ain't no way. Boy, no way. Damn. No. Outside temperature is around negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The boiling water is about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep. It wow. Like it instantly turns into ice crystal. Yep. The lowest air temperature ever measured in this region is negative 96.16 degrees you, Fahrenheit. How do you that wash your ass and all that, man? That hole just turned into a brick. Yeah, Damn. bro. Everything's a weapon out there, fam. Like what? That's nah. I'm good. But bro. when they said uh, Russia, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. S specifically Siberia. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It is as if it belongs to another planet. A banana left outside can turn into a hammer in minutes. Bro, relax, fam. Give me all your money. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. Put the I got a banana, down. and I will use it. Give me all your money. Don't do it. Bah. Oh. Well, you can crack somebody. Hey, I told you everything's a weapon out there. <laughs> Get some apples and just take somebody Ooh. out. People cannot wear metal frame glasses here oh. because the metal could stick to their skin. And if they wanted to take off their glasses, their flesh might be teared out. This is a piece of meat that looks very much like human flesh. Let's just put it in contact with metal. Oh! No! As you can see, these are natural gas pipes and they have to be laid above the ground yeah. because the underground is frozen with yeah. ice. There's actually a 100 foot thick mass of ice under the city. Look, this river is completely frozen. During the Soviet era, people who contradicted Gulag Stalin's camps. ideas were exiled to Sahar Republic region. They were politicians, businessmen, etc. As a matter of fact, some of these people who live in Yakutsk right now are their grandchildren. So this place used to be a land of exile. Today there is a city life going on. But we could call this life an ice hell. It pushes the yeah. limits of human nature. No matter how much we bundle up, nothing is enough to keep our bodies warm. 
if you have a car here, you have a big problem. Yeah. Winter lasts for six to seven months here. Ooh. And in that time, you six. can never drive your car. If you insist on driving it, you can never stop your vehicle's engine. For example, the car with a running engine you can see here is empty. There is nobody inside. There are hundreds of cars like this. The reason why the engine is running, if it stops, it can be completely covered with ice and the engine oil will freeze. As oh, you can see, the ew. owner of this vehicle must have decided not to run his or her car for a while just after 20 minutes of the engine being off. It is common to give up hope. Another frozen car here waiting bro. to be reused next summer. This car is running, right? This nigga Let's... said next, next summer? summer, bro. What kind of what in the Damn, bro. Carbon? Damn. Oh, nah. Nah, that's as soon as Mr. Freeze is proud. Oh, for sure. Bro, that's like I don't even see how people live like your heater bill must be crazy. Facts. See if there's anybody inside. Yeah, nobody. Can you imagine what a huge base of energy this actually is? Fortunately, Russia is a country that is quite rich in oil and natural gas resources. Even the exhaust smoke freezes, that's how cold it is. <laughs> there are special covers for protection. Sometimes this is not enough too. People who can afford it keep their vehicles in a heated garage. Wow. Because these vehicles are constantly running. There is a constant layer of exhaust smoke over the city. The yeah. range of visibility is often below 200 feet due to the smoke. The house is Oh, so these niggas park their car and just leave it running. <laughs> Bro! That's why it's freaking hard to breathe there on top of the damn cold. Damn. In the dry air. Y'all polluting the damn air. Damn. Oh. Here have completely different architecture. The reason why the buildings are built on pillars is that the ground is covered with ice and there is a possibility of ice shift. Old houses start to lean over after oh. a decade or so because the amount of ice either increases or decreases. It feels like pins and needles. The worst thing that could happen is to get frostbite. Yeah. Considering a refrigerator operates at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, a freezer operates at about negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Since the temperature here is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Everywhere you can see here could function as a very high-tech freezer. That's why some people sneakers is hanging they food outside. Oh uh, yeah, put it in the freezer. Oh, no uh, problem. Open up the window, hang it outside. Good. That's one less thing I got to run in the house. Facts. That's <laughs> it's so Sit it outside, though. dog. That's crazy. Just sit it out. So if you want a cold beverage, Oh, don't worry. Put it outside for about maybe a minute. She be ice cold. Appreciate you, bro. You just got bottles. <laughs> just, you just got the earth. Earth is <laughs> freezing the, your food. The, the six pack just sitting outside. Oh, no. Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like them, they don't have animals. Well, of course, clearly not running around sliding on buildings because, you know, raccoons will have a field day out here. Facts, bro. People are able to store their fruits or their meat just by hanging them outside their windows. Can I make a sled out of this? No. Bro! They got time to go play. This nigga <laughs> had a cloth and turned it into a sled. That's how cold it is. Huh? He just poured water on it and it... <laughs> That's kind of tough, though, bro. Like, bro, what? <clears throat> I'm like you said, anything could be a weapon. Yeah, legit. I just took off my gloves for just a minute for filming. Now it hurts terribly. Oh. My eyelashes are frozen too. I'm trying to break the ice. Oh. Move. Yes. Move. If you would stay outside for more than 15 Ooh. minutes, you would experience problems such as skin burns and difficulty in breathing. Damn, bro. Chill that starts with a needle prick like pain, frostbite, followed by sensation. Oh. Yep. And then it could result in death. She took off her gloves for just five minutes to film me. Her Damn. fingertips instantly turned white. Oh. Our microphone is giving a red warning. It Damn. is not working properly. The camera is also not working as it should. You ain't used to them conditions. 
We have lids all it's covered. Frozen. Whoa! Our phones don't work as well. Her battery was about 10% a couple of minutes ago. And then it suddenly died, whereas it was actually full. What you see behind Damn. me is a cemetery. The thickness of the ice under my shoes is about 100 foot. And this ice mass under the city does not melt even in the summer. So, how do people bury the dead? They gather pieces of coal and burn them for two to three days. Once the coal is burned, the blocks of ice thaw and it can be easily removed using shovels. Finally, the area can be excavated to Damn. a depth of six to seven feet. The body of a person who died 100 or 200 years ago can be found very robust even today. Wow. That is crazy, bro. You can't even bury people. 20% of the world's total diamond reserves are in Yakutsk. Oh. In addition to that, there are also all the elements in the periodic table. There are many mammoth and dinosaur fossils under the Yakutia territories. In these areas where mammoths once roamed, their intact corpses still show up as the ice melts today. Oh, that's crazy. In this land where people cannot engage in agriculture or farming, people eat fish. One of the most important features of this market is that they got oh, the it's fish freezing. in there. Stiff. Mud's froze, bro. <laughs> it's like, put me up, put me up, put me up. Gee. They display the fish in public stalls rather than in refrigerators. Outside, it's much colder than any refrigerator. A piece of meat left outside won't spoil for months. Ah. Oh. There are also frozen rabbits here. Oh, they are consumed oh, a lot, man. including with the ducks. Horse meat is also very common. It is about Horse 45 meat? pounds. They take this fish as a whole, put it outside and consume it for days. This one is also on sale. It never spoils, of course. Its ears are not moving at all. How many hours do you work here for a day? Yeah, how long does he do this? Uh, how many layers of clothing are uh, on uh, upper body? Damn! They stand on such first, they do not feel the cold coming to their feet. That's crazy. The Kutin, who make up the majority of the population, are Turkic in origin. 38% of the population are Russian in origin. Wow. <laughs> you know who I haven't seen? There are only such dogs here. Unfortunately, cats cannot survive. Only mammals with a really thick fur. There are two layers of glass inside the cars. So when the air conditioner warms the interior, it doesn't lose its temperature immediately. The scariest thing about being on the road is that people whose cars break down have a risk of dying if they cannot fix it within 30 minutes. Otherwise, oh. engine oil under the hood freezes in minutes. If people get stranded in these rural areas with Bro. no phone signal, they have no choice but to freeze to death oh. within a couple of hours. That's, That's why crazy. every driver carries a toolbox in his or her car. Not Our journey to the village was know how to fix cars. The docks later on. During our uh -oh. time on the dock sled, I nearly lost an ear that was exposed to the wind and the cold. Yeah, I was about to say, that's more the wind. Pain was unbearable. <laughs> Maria just Snow accepted dog. us to her village house. We're gonna know more about these mysterious Yakut people. Can you see it? As thick as my finger. Ooh. I cannot feel it. It's quite numb. Damn. But my other ear is much thinner. Horses here are much shorter than the usual horses. Their bodies are conditioned to be short. That's how they can keep themselves warmer. Less surface area to worry about. They gave us their own clothes. Stop growing tall. Yeah. This is just wow, bro. Uh, you can tell like by it. looking at the frozen boat right. that we're walking on a frozen lake. We try to hit it at a 90 degree angle. We just drill a 20 to 25 inch diameter hole. Cows will come and meet their water needs. We're constantly removing the ice. How long it takes for this water to again completely cover the ice? In one hour. Cows wow. in this village are always kept in the barns in winter. That's like a good, freezer. Huh? 
Ooh, it's cold out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do, of course. That's why they don't spend much time outside. Because they don't spend much time outside. This the ice age. Get, get them some, some ice water. Some hey. puddle water. <laughs> yeah, hey, you man, you fast. wake up. Wake up at late at night, man. You be wanting some something to drink, get some of that cool water. That's still right there. Like, oh mm -hmm. shit, let me get some of this. But they got an hour to drink it. Your yeah. ear got first bitten. If like it lasted longer, it will be very dangerous. They will oh. have to cut it, right? If they cannot save it, they can cut it because the the cells are dead. For mm -hmm. your ear, it's a traditional Yakut medicine. Fat of. Oh look at his uh, ear. Yeah, I see the mug. Yeah. My father took it from. Looking like Dumbo. Oh. Yes, this will help for spitting and also if you burn it. If you look at it from behind, oh. you'll see it more clearly. It is seriously swollen and they call it frostbite. I will probably have risked my entire ear if I had been in the cold for more than 15 minutes. Damn. There's no joke here. What is the coldest temperature you have ever witnessed? The coldest temperature is negative 71 Celsius. <laughs> what is cold for you? If I have good clothes, if I have enough clothes, before negative 40, it's not like real winter temperature for me. Negative 41, negative 48, it's like fine. Below negative 48. When the motherfucker say oh, below negative 48 is fine. That's wild, fam. Fine? It's not that bad. It's just, man, we a loser. Bro, ain't no way. Ain't no way. It's cold. Like and bro, I can save 52, it. it's very cold. And every degree feels. The funny thing is, like, cold weather feels like fire. Like, yeah. Like burning. Yeah, that's true. Uh, now my ear is yeah. burning. Yeah. I feel it's so hot. Sometimes people drink too much and they fall asleep somewhere outside. Oh. Uh -huh. One night outside. Some people didn't have proper clothes and they went to the woods and their car broke down. They couldn't call oh, someone no. because no phone service. That's yeah, terrible. It ended. What do you think and about nature? Whole lifestyle of Yakut people, of Saha people, is taking care of nature, respecting it. Early childhood, me and my family, we used to go to the woods to fish, to hunt. It's just a part of our life. And we always remember that we are not the owners of this land. We are just guests. For example, we always make a ritual. When we go to pick some berries, we always take a little food with us. We leave it on the ground and say, nature, please share with us. Please give us some food. It's for the master of oh, that's dope. for the spirit. Yeah, very interesting the way how they look at things. Yeah. For example, when we go to the forest, you shouldn't speak loud because you can disturb the spirits. You shouldn't oh, drink no. the... Oh, no. I ain't going to that forest. <laughs> I'm just not going. Garbage. I'm going to stay my ass don't inside. Bother, don't mm -hmm. disturb, don't destroy. The Yakut religion is not something which is written in a book or there is a church. Like, there is one center of our religion, but it's not something that, like in other religions that we do every day we should pray we, we don't do something like that mm. but it's in our mind it's in our lifestyle it and it's all um, related to nature well, for what you have you yeah, what type of nature. squirrel is that okay, yeah that's what i'm saying but this thing got a, fur for days an, that's an evolved squirrel <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> that squirrel has evolved for sure <laughs> super for squirrel real. i choose you <laughs> We got regular squirrels. They got super squirrels over yeah, there. It's completely different. Gods bro. are nature. Yeah. Mm. Our gods are like part of the nature. No, Somebody said that squirrel from Ice Age. Why don't you Facts. migrate to south where it's warmer? That's a rabbit Who's squirrel. Living in these temperatures is like torture. <laughs> it's a torture for you. He in pain. But yeah, no, he, he's definitely in pain. Family. My family is here, and for me, the best is to be close to my parents, to my brothers. And secondly, I like the nature here. It's very pure. Like, the ecology is very so pure. Negative 48. For me and for my like, I bet it is pure. children, breathing fresh pure air. Pure enough for me to not go. Yeah, <laughs> because of our culture, 
I want I want to preserve our language, our tradition. Yeah, feed these niggas in the hood. To the next generation. It looked like a refrigerator. As, as well. Right. In July, the average daily temperature is about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to global warming, ice wow. mass of our world is melting and mammoth corpses are coming up. But also, viruses fighting for thousands of years, which modern humans have never met before, can come to light. When Europeans migrated to North America, the flu they took with themselves to the continent killed most of the Native Americans who had been isolated for centuries. The flu didn't kill us because our immune system was strong. Similarly, ancient diseases to which we are not immune can come to light with the melting of the ice in these uh, regions of the world and have devastating uh, consequences. Man. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Yeah, man. That was a wild one, bro. Man, that, that was... was cr All right, so question. Would you rather stay there or the desert? Man, both of them. Not really ideal. I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah, I what you you that's that's a I mean both of them pretty pretty tough extreme yeah like ah man I know he has a video of the hottest place in the world so we can definitely check that one out next time uh I think on the on the thumbnail it said like a, 129 degrees I was like oh oh I feel, I feel like we've been through that this summer so I don't know it's like the thing with the ice situation is you gotta leave your car on at least in the heat extreme stream heat you don't have to leave it on per se you just gonna have to turn it on before you get in <laughs> that's about it <laughs> you got to turn it on before you get yeah. in but you don't have to leave it on and if you you know got some water around you well hydrated for the most part you'll be okay ish but in that type of temperature no you saw just in a few minutes he damn near almost lost his ear yeah so if i had to choose i'm gonna go with the, the the heat because at least you could put on something to you know kind of cool off get From you something to cool yeah. off yeah like there there's nothing you can do there bro it's either you have enough layers and then survive <laughs> that's it yeah so. yeah i think i think um yeah probably the desert yeah like you said if you got enough water i mean we live in houston so it kind of yeah. i know it ain't the desert but it fam, get hot it get hot and it was hot for months straight yeah out here so um i'd rather do that i'd rather deal with that because you know once once them pipes get frozen that's ggs yeah, that's that's it. It. ain't nothing you can do at that point so i'd rather deal with that than fucking negative degree temperatures nah, I'm good. I'm good. 70 but hey if y'all enjoyed the video let us know in the comments down below what do you think and why would you choose the one you would uh, -huh. uh if we should do some more of these let us know as well continue to spray love be love man we'll catch y'all in the next one peace out Already. The bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.